All right, what's up? Good morning, guys. So today I'm gonna film what I eat in a day, and we're starting with the warm lemon water, like we always do. So today, I don't have like the most exciting day planned, but I'm gonna show you guys everything I eat. I'm gonna head down to the park, I'm gonna warm up a bit, see what's happening at the beach, then I'm gonna run to the gym, and have a push workout, and then I'm gonna come back here and make my post-workout smoothie. I'll show you guys everything I put in there, and then I'm going to do a voiceover for a video that I filmed yesterday. I did my whole pull day workout. You guys will probably have seen that by the time this video is up. And then I'm gonna make lunch. Uh, with, oh, that reminds me. So I'm gonna have buckwheat for lunch, and I find that if I soak it a little bit beforehand, it kind of gets rid of that like sliminess that buckwheat has. So uh, I usually do like a cup of dry buckwheat, and then I never eat it all. So today I'm just gonna do a half a cup. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is quite a few calories. And uh, maybe at the end I'll go over all the calories and do like that nutrient uh, analysis like I did before, because these guys seem to really like that. So there we have a half a cup of buckwheat. I'll just let that soak until I'm ready to eat it at lunch and then I'll just drain the water off and um, boil it like you would with oatmeal and then I'll load it up with a bunch of fruit and nuts and seeds and stuff. So here we go. I'm going to head to the park right now and warm up. home from my workout just made the smoothie you guys have to know this by now so I put in like five or six bananas a couple of them were frozen then I put in three dates two tablespoons of flaxseed then a little bit of vivo life protein powder which I'm almost out of but I have a feeling you guys might be seeing a little bit more of that on my channel and that's all I'm gonna say right now then I also put in a whole bunch of greens kale kale is king so get it in ya some turmeric and black pepper to help control inflammation, and it's great at helping your body to release bile salts, which help to absorb the fat-soluble vitamins, and you know, of course, all the omegas from the flaxseed. So all good things. So I'm gonna drink this and finish editing my video from yesterday. Like I said this morning, I filmed a pull day yesterday at the gym for you guys, and I just have to do like the voiceover. So I'm gonna do that and get it up right now. So I know this might seem like a huge workout to a lot of you guys, but I have built myself up to this point. I couldn't do muscle ups for almost the first year, but just keep on pushing forward and aim for progress and not perfection. You guys know that. So that's it. I'm just filming a little voiceover for the video that I'm putting up and you guys got a little behind the scenes look. So <laughs> that's the magic that happens back here. So now I'm going to make that buckwheat that I've been soaking. I'm starving. Are you going to make me buckwheat? Hmm? 
All right, so while the buckwheat's cooking, I'm gonna chop up some fruit to put on top. All right, so I chopped up one banana and one apple, and I think there's six or seven strawberries in there. And then the buckwheat is just about finished. When the water's all gone, you know it's done. But if you put too much water in, you can always just dump out some of the excess water. But I think I'll be okay this time. So last thing I'm gonna fire on there, some pumpkin seeds, some shredded coconut, and some cinnamon. So there we go. Really simple, super nutritious, really filling, and I think it's delicious. If you guys wanted to, you could definitely add some like um, almond milk right now. Vanilla almond milk would be really good with this, or if you wanted to add some maple syrup or something, uh, or even like a date syrup is really good. I sometimes add that. Uh, or banana milk. The options are endless, but I'm pretty happy with it like this today. I got so much more stuff to do, uh, so I'm just going to eat it as is. And I'm going to put that table together right now, so we'll see what happens there. <laughs> There it is, all done. I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't uh, mess up a couple times <laughs> making it, but uh, it's all done there and we'll see if it works. I'm hoping I can like put it across the kitchen there and then like film in towards the kitchen and like prepare food on that. So we'll see if it works. But either way, we got a nice little breakfast table and I gotta reply to some emails and do some work right now before dinner. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll cook dinner. I realize I never include my water intake in these what I eat in a days. So. I try and drink at least three of these throughout the day uh, and that's outside of like a liter that I drink during my workout. So it's probably about two and a half liters of water during the day. Uh, I wish I could get three in but I just I just never seem to do it, I always forget. Um, so if I get three of these in throughout the day that's really good and then I always drink one, uh, like a full liter of water through my workout. This is probably close to 750 or 800 milliliters. All right, so now that I'm done working, I'm gonna make some dinner. So I just grabbed these warba potatoes, they're called, and they're like a BC grown potato, and they're really beautiful. If the camera would focus, you could see that the eyes of them are like a bright pink. They're really, really like buttery, smooth potatoes. So I'm gonna chop these up and roast them. I've already got the oven preheated, and I'm gonna roast them in like a glass pan and probably put some spices in with them and maybe some onions. And I know I have some tempeh in there as well. salads really quickly. I'm gonna have mine on a plate. Crystal always likes hers in a bowl. And we've been eating lots of this lately, arugula. It's a really, really nice, like, um, peppery, kind of spicy, lemony uh, green, as it describes on the, on the front there. So, there's Crystal's salad all done. And I'll make a salad dressing for this as well. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And there's mine. Ooh. So, with the rest of the veggies that I have here, I'm going to put them in my potatoes for the rest of the time to cook and I'm also going to chop up some of that tempeh that I mentioned earlier. So kind of random but I found like a leek uh, in, the, in the fridge so I'm going to use that instead of onion. There's that tempeh I mentioned. Okay, so I just pulled the potatoes out of the oven and as you can see, they look incredible. And then there's the plain ones. Crystal just came home and she's like, oh, are those ones yours? So I guess I'm gonna have to share them. 
So I guess in order to like best uh, measure like how much I'm eating, uh, the past meals have been fine because I just ate all of them, so it's gonna be easy for me to calculate that. But this one, there's obviously probably gonna be some leftovers and Crystal's gonna have some. So uh, this I'll be able to do. This I am going to just measure out what I'm gonna eat or what I think I'm going to eat um, just in cups here and then I'll be able to sort of estimate it. So one cup of chopped potatoes and we'll call that two cups, that's pretty full. And I can already tell you I'm gonna want more, so um, three cups. I just realized I need a salad dressing. I told you guys I was gonna make one, so I'm gonna make a really, really fast salad dressing. And that's basically gonna be red pepper, I'm gonna use some tahini, some mustard, a date, a little apple cider vinegar, and some avocado to thicken it, and a little bit of water to, you know, for the liquid. And that's it. So there we have it. I'm not gonna lie, probably gonna put a bunch of ketchup on the potatoes. <laughs> so that's gonna be amazing. I really like ketchup, I'm not gonna lie. And I'd forgotten about it for so many years because I just um, you know, got away from a lot of the processed foods and sauces and that sort of thing. But I've definitely reintroduced it lately and um, with some like roasted potatoes, there's nothing better than good ketchup. So this one, I don't know if you guys have it near your house. It doesn't really taste like Heinz. It tastes a little bit more like, almost like a Worcestershire sauce or something like that, but it's still really, really good. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat this and upload this footage and try and make sense of like the amount of food that I ate today and plug it into chronometer to do a nutrient analysis after this. So I'll just do that as a voiceover um, and you guys will have to comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of this video. Thanks so much for watching and definitely stay tuned for the nutrient analysis. All right guys, welcome to the nutrient analysis. Thank you so much for watching that whole video everything I ate that day. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like that type of video, if you guys want to see just the food, if you like the vlog style, because I'm curious and I want to make these videos the best that I can for you guys. So without any further ado, let's analyze these nutrients. I know the most common question that I'm going to get on this video is, what program is that that you're using to track? Well, this is called chronometer or chronometer, and it's a great program. It's totally free and has lots of really cool options, so I really encourage you guys to get into it and check it out. I will put a link in the description down below. So this is everything that I ate today and I did my best with the dinner. Dinner was the only difficult part because as you guys know I shared some of it with Crystal. There was some leftovers and then that salad dressing uh, was shared as well. So I just did my best to approximate everything that I consumed during that dinner. So looking at the calories, I ate 2,600 total calories, and if you want to look at the macros, 70% or 71.8% were coming from carbohydrates, 174 were coming from fats, and 108 were coming from protein. So that's pretty average. Sometimes the protein's a little bit higher and the fat's a tiny bit lower, but that's pretty average for what I usually eat, and about 80 grams of protein is pretty much um, standard issue for me. I generally get between 70 and 100 grams, so 80 is right in there. Uh, and I think it's uh, significant that I mentioned my weight. I am 64 kilograms, so I am not a big guy, uh, but it is important when uh, taking into consideration the amount of food that somebody is eating. So as we go down further and look at this in more detail, we're gonna have to take into account some RDIs and um, I will explain all of that as we go. So we're gonna start at the top with the general, then we'll move down to carbs, fats, then we'll go up to the vitamins, minerals, and then we'll finish off on protein. So general, you, though I didn't include my water in this because I talked about it in the video. I really think you guys should be getting at least two liters of clear water outside of your workouts and at least a liter of water through your workouts. If you can get three liters of water in through the day and a liter through your workout, that is amazing. So carbs, um, like <laughs> look at that, 500 grams of carbs. That is a whole lot, but as you guys see, it's all from good whole foods. So this is why I often don't do these 
nutrient analysis because people get so upset and concerned about, oh my God, you're eating so many carbs. I've heard carbs are bad, this and that. It's like, I don't like to reduce these foods into like the individual constituents that they are. We should really be thinking about the quality of the food that we're eating, not the macro or micronutrient makeup of them. But because you guys are interested in it and uh, I want to satisfy your curiosity, we're going over that today. So I ate 80 grams of fiber. That is a lot of fiber. Things move through me just fine. Uh, <laughs> if you guys have ever heard, there's a statistic that gets thrown around and um, most Americans get, uh, I think it's 97% of Americans get enough protein in their daily diet but only 3% of them are reaching their recommended fiber intake, which I think is 35 grams. So here I am well over that, as you guys can see. Um, fat, I got 54 grams of fat. I think that's probably a good amount. I'm not too worried about these uh, REIs or the numbers or whatever. Uh, and I also really like to look at my omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. I try and keep that ratio as close to possible. Um, you're really not going to get it one-to-one, -one, but... Anywhere sort of between like a 4 to 1, 6 to 3 ratio uh, to 2 to 1 is like incredible if you can get it that low. So what is mine here? 4, um, so I guess that's what, like a 3 to 1 ratio. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And then going up to vitamins, I definitely like smoked all of my vitamin intake throughout the day. No vitamin D because as you guys know, we get that from sunshine or fortified foods. And I was outside lots today and lots this summer, so I haven't been supplementing with it. But I will do that in the winter. Uh, also, vitamin B12 isn't really represented here because you uh, should really supplement that as well if you're eating a vegan diet, which I also do. Vitamin E is a little bit low. Had I eaten some more nuts and seeds, I might have gotten that up a little bit higher. So I'll definitely take that into account uh, on my next day of eating, which is today. And then vitamin K just, you know, off the charts. So you can see, you know, vitamins were really, really killing it with the vitamins. Lots of those. And then we move down to minerals. Everything here looks really good. Uh, calcium is a little bit low. How, it's hard to get enough uh, or to get that thousand milligrams of calcium on a vegan diet. I've actually changed my RDI here to 750 milligrams, which you guys might notice, um, because that is all that I think we need. You guys can argue with me in the comment section down below, but there's lots of evidence of many um, many cultures around the world that are getting between 500 and 750 milligrams of calcium per day and they have much better uh, rates of bone density and lower rates of hip fracture in those communities. So take it for what you will, but that is how much calcium I got today. And then copper and iron, magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, potassium, absolutely no problems there. You guys might be surprised to see that I only got 184% of the RDI of potassium considering I ate so many bananas. So many people would think that I'm getting a lethal dose of potassium, but our RDI for potassium is actually quite high. And I recommend that you guys even get more than that because it is extremely good for our heart. Selenium was a little bit low. Had I had one Brazil nut, I would have satisfied those needs very, very easily. So if you want to have a little bit more selenium in your diet, have one Brazil nut. Sodium, I didn't put any of the additional salt that I added into my food, so that's definitely up around 100%, maybe even higher. And look at that, zinc is at exactly 100%. So thanks to the buckwheat and also the pumpkin seeds that I had. And then as we move over to protein, this is the one that everybody is probably interested in. And as you can see, we're just getting enough of absolutely all the essential amino acids. So which one is the one that everyone worries about? Well, isoleucine, leucine, and valine, those are the BCAAs, and I'm sure getting enough of those. And then lysine is often uh, the one that people say vegans have a hard time getting. It's the limiting factor in the you know protein synthesis in vegans, whatever. Lysine, I'm getting enough of it. So there we go, guys. That is the nutrient analysis. I hope you guys like that. Let me know in the comments down below. I can do another video if you want like this and include my nutrients. But hopefully you guys get to the point where I'm at where you just don't worry about it and you understand that eating a good amount of good quality food is the most important thing. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys sticking this out until the end. Comments down below are much appreciated. Love you guys. See ya.